Leaded paint is most dangerous for children up to six years old. Their brain development can be seriously affected by high levels of lead, a toxic metal. Children can swallow paint dust while playing at schools or at home, and their IQ levels can drop dramatically. That's why in most industrial countries, leaded paints have long been banned. From the decorative paints we have investigated, many still contain lead. From the sample we took, 75% still contained lead levels that are considered dangerous. Most Indonesians are not aware of the risks of lead when they are buying paint. Companies that are selling unleaded paint or have reduced the level significantly make this clear on their products. I really didn't know about it. I've never heard about it. If I knew about it, I would have been more careful. Bright colors like this one usually contain more poisonous lead levels than others, with Indonesia's economy growing rapidly, selling paint has become booming business. But health authorities are warning that if health and environmental aspects are not taken seriously, a future generation is at risk. Companies using leaded paint blame this on the government because there is simply no ban. Some have taken the initiative to replace lead with less dangerous materials themselves. Law enforcement belum ada. There's no law enforcement and people don't know about the dangers. That's why most people still buy leaded paint. When confronted with the results of the survey, the government announced that in 2015, leaded paint will be banned. We're aware of the risks for sure, but this still happens due to economic reasons. Unleaded paints are simply more expensive, and I have to admit that we're having trouble competing with cheaper imported paints. Despite the announcement of the ban, health experts warn that nationwide action is still urgently needed. Even though paint may be lead-free in the future, playgrounds, furniture, walls, all painted with leaded paint, still form a risk for this generation of children. Step Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.